Hey everyone, it's Dottie. Sunday, June 3rd, 2012. And I'm going to try to make this quick. I am here to admit that I am proof that weight loss surgery is not a cure-all. I am proof that you can gain weight after weight loss surgery. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy in December of 2009. It is not something I talk openly about with the general public or even people at work or anyone, but it's true. <laughs> I did have surgery. It is. It was my basically my last resort. I did not want to have surgery. Uh, I really wanted to lose weight the good old-fashioned way of healthy eating and exercise. And I truly believe that had I no um, depression, emotional issues, I, I think I could have done it. But I do have depression and emotional issues, and I still have those issues. And it's a big reason why I have gained 30 pounds, a little more than probably, since October. October is when I was told about my dad having lung cancer and that it had met metastasized to his brain. I was told that he had been dealing with it for a little over a year and that it had actually metastasized to his brain in July. And it was October and I was just being told all of this. I was trying... I was hurt and I was trying to be understanding and not be angry over that, over not being told before, over not having more time to try to bond better with him because we never had the greatest relationship. But he ended up passing away in November and it hurt a lot. Now I know it hurts when you lose your parents regardless, but because I didn't have the greatest relationship with him to begin with, I feel as though it's just it hurts even more and a part of me was very angry that I didn't have more time to try to mend things and bond better but it is what it is and I'm trying to accept that I was doing okay but that's when the depression and emotion started big time prior to all that I had you know a few things come up now and then but I got through them okay and I didn't emotionally eat. I would, you know, go take a walk or I would find something to do. I, I handled it better. But for some reason my dad's death really hit hard. And that's that's when my weight gain started. And it got worse in March when my very good friend Heidi died. I started counseling early this year, you know, to try to deal with the depression, and basically I have a lot of unresolved grief, um, even from my mom's death, so that was back in 2006, so I've been trying to go through all that, and it's not easy, and basically have sabotaged myself as far as my weight, because I've just kind of been eating whatever. I certainly have not been following any healthy living rules or weight loss surgery rules at all. I don't get in enough water at all. Of course, I never have. Um, I don't always eat protein first. I eat junk food at times. I eat a lot at times, and I can eat a lot at times. I think I've successfully stretched my stomach back out, and I am not very happy with myself at all. Um, my most recent weight was like 291, something like that. So I'm like this close. To 300 pounds again and it's time to nip it in the bud. I gotta figure out what I gotta do here. 
So, I, I don't know why I'm vlogging or, or, I don't know. Maybe just to just spill it out and, and be proof that you can regain after surgery. That surgery does not cure the emotional um, or depression tendencies that one may have. Namely me, I have always had depression issues. And I now wish I would have gotten a better handle on it before I had surgery. But here I am. That close to 300 again and not feeling good about it at all. I'm not the happy, um, in love with exercise person I was last summer and I kind of miss her. And I kind of wish I knew how to get her back. Work has not been great and I don't know if that's a pure attitude deal or or if it's just I'm just simply not happy there or if you know my husband being off work so long has had an impact on my you know attitude towards work or a little of all of that I just need to kick myself in the butt need to try harder. I need to make a meal plan that I can stick with and I need to move more. Plain and simple. Eat less, move more. That's what works and that's what I gotta do. And find better ways of dealing with the emotions and the sadness. Because turning to food is not the answer. I don't always turn to food, but I am recognizing that I have, in these last six months, I have, at times, definitely. Um, I read, you know, one day I was reading on Facebook, someone put they a bacon cheeseburger sounded good, and I'm like, oh my god, yes it does, and the next day, I had one. Yeah. Um, or, you know, feeling a little down after work one day and I wanted ice cream and I got ice cream so yeah I'm not cured of the emotional and depression weight loss surgery did not do that for me I need to work through that I need I'm gonna try to write out a meal plan or something I don't know. I've been praying a lot because at times I feel so lost. I'm so disappointed in myself for all of this, letting it get to this again. And uh, uh, I've got nobody to blame but myself. So get with the program, D. You hear me? Move on. Don't look back. Quit dwelling on everything sad in your life. Move forward. And that is a big part of my issues, too. I tend to think about everything in the past. Things that, you know, broken friendships that were basically deaths. It's like, get over it, you know? What is my problem? Why can I not move past this stuff? Why can I not just face forward, move forward, and quit looking back. Why do I have such a huge tendency to look back and dwell on stuff? I gotta quit that. It's just hurting me terrible, and I'm not getting anywhere. Certainly not anywhere near that happy person I once was. If anything, I just keep bringing myself down. <sighs> I need to move forward. I need to keep looking forward. And I need to not worry about those broken friendships in the past because they're done and they're over. And truth be told, 
they weren't the greatest friends to begin with anyway. So let it go. You have people that care about you now. A lot. People that care about you a lot. Aside from your husband and kids, you have friends that care about you a lot. Now granted, they're far away. They don't live nearby. That's what's tough. Oh well. I'm just kind of rambling now, so. I guess I'm here just to basically admit that weight gain can rehab, can, weight regain can happen after weight loss surgery. And weight loss surgery does not cure emotion and depression tendencies. So, keep that in mind. Um, I gotta get back, I gotta get my head back in the game. I gotta do better. I don't want to get to 300 pounds again. I don't. <sighs> One day I do, I would like to get to Wonderland. I would like to know what that feels like. So, I gotta work at it. Eat less, move more. Sounds simple. Eat less, move more. Eat less, move more. Alright. Peace and love. Smile. Bye.